So in this batch of episodes, we finally see Ramses and Marissa come head to head on their politics, specifically on the military and foreign policy. And I definitely think this was a conversation that needed to be had between those two because I'm still a, a bit confused as to how they ended up together in the first place. Because Ramses, he's very much like a leftist socialist. He works in um, social justice reform, very much giving social justice warrior vibes. And yet in the pods, he seemed to gloss over the fact that Marissa still kind of has conservative-ish ties. Like she said that she dated um, a Trump supporter for three years, like, and he was very conservative. But, you know, she look, could look past the politics because he was a good person. Like, we didn't see them discuss that. Obviously, he also knows that she was in the military. She did basically say that she, you know, doesn't really agree with, you know, the military, being in the military anymore. So I think that's why he, he was comfortable enough to progress to marriage. But again, they didn't really have an in-depth conversation about, you know, how she really, really feels about the military. Because in this episode, it becomes increasingly clear that she's not entirely done with the military. She's still very much involved um, in the military community. She's still very proud to be a vet. She acknowledges, you know, the atrocities that the US military has committed. But it seems like she still has a respect for the institution as a whole. And I think that's tied to the fact that the military, being in the Navy, gave her, you know, the opportunity to get out of poverty. I believe that's where she got her law degree for. I believe um, if you're in the military or the Navy, um, your degree gets paid for. You know, she spent a lot of her time in the military. She calls herself a military brat. And I'm sure she has a lot of fond memories from being, you know, in the military that wasn't necessarily like, you know, um, based around like the atrocities and stuff like that, you know, it's just like any job type of thing. You might not like your job, but you like the community that you found in your job. A lot of her friends, you know, a lot of her loved ones in her life are from the military or, you know, either former military or still in the military or still in the military. So I feel like, you know, if she now comes out and denounces the whole military and says, you know, the military is this evil institution, it might feel to her that she's calling her community evil by proxy. And on top of that, if she now denounces this community, she loses all of her benefits as a veteran. So I think maybe that's why she doesn't want to entirely let go slash denounce the military. Now, she is very much adamant that she will never return to the military, but she also admitted that she did, you know, apply to be in the reserves, but ultimately decided it wasn't, you know, she couldn't go back to that environment. But like I said, she's still very much involved in the community to the point where it feels like she's still in support. Like she literally said she supports the truth. But personally, I'm confused that Ramsey is still continuing this engagement with her when she's made it very clear that she's essentially on the fence and he's very adamant that, you know, he is very anti-military and if she was to go back into the military, that that would be divorced and that would be the relationship over. And she's still very much involved in the community. Like, I feel like there's a lot of cognitive dissonance going on on Ramsey's part. Also, Marissa makes it very clear that she would support her children going into the military. And she doesn't say it as if, well, if they just happen to want to go into the military, she'll support them. But it sounds like she's going to be, you know, letting them know that this is an option that they can take. And he's like, you know, we will let our children decide for themselves. But there's a difference between letting your child be free and discover what they want to be in life and then handing your child a military brochure that says all the benefits and asking them, do you wanna be a part of the military or not? No pressure. And it's not even like he's a bystander commentator, he's Venezuelan and he said he knows firsthand the devastation that US imperialism has done via the military. So him hearing Marissa's thoughts, I personally am confused as to why he's still with her. 
because when he met up with his friends he was like if she goes back to the military it's over because you know this is a morality thing and he stands on his morals but if he was really standing on his morals he wouldn't have got engaged to marissa in the first place in my opinion but i gotta hear from you guys is ramsey standing on business or do you feel like because Marissa isn't actively in the military and the fact that she says she will never go back and the fact that she does, you know, realise how imperialistic the US military is, that you can see why he's willing to look past that and marry her. Let me know what you guys think, because personally for me, it's not making sense.